Do do do, baby shark. Do do do, baby shark. Do do do, baby shark. Ah, shark! Ah! Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it was scary though. Um, so today we're gonna do an art project with a shark theme. So let's get started. I have a piece of plain paper right here, and I have some pastels, some wa blue watercolor, and I'm going to first draw a sun for my background for my ocean theme. I'm going to use a pastel to do that. Oops, color it in. And then I'm going to, after I do this, I'm going to add the watercolor. So. Um, it will be a little crayon resist and the um, well, that's an rays of sun coming off and we'll um, the, wa the pastels the water will roll right off the pastels All right, and I think I'll do a seagull over here a little seagull flying through the air the ocean themed picture so you know there are a lot of times seagulls flying okay um, here we go Add the blue. See the water coming right off of the sun that I already drew. That's perfect. That's just what I want to happen. Just spread this really quickly so that you can get to the next part of it. Oh, this looks perfect. Oh, let me dip it one more time. Spread that out. And I don't think I need to dip again. Bring that down. Yep, there we go. Got a little blue background. Just what I was hoping for. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for just a second. And we're going to make our shark. Got a shark tracer that I already drew. And I found this really cool um, paper. We're going to turn it over so that... Yep, there we go. We're going to turn it over so you can trace right on the back. And then we'll cut it out. Move that up a tiny bit. Trace around it. I did want this a little bit longer when I was setting it up, and I forgot to make it a bit longer. So, you know, just add a little extra bit. Okie dokie. Go around. Kids in my class always say, Wow, you're really great at cutting with the scissors and you're really fast. That's because I've been practicing for a very long time. Okay, so now I've got the shark's body. Move this back on top of my workspace and we're gonna add the glue. You know what, let's add the glue to the, to the shark body. I don't want that to roll. I'll stick this right here. Move it up a little bit. Ooh, hope he doesn't get that seagull. Yeah, the seagull's really far away in the distance, so we're good. Okay, now the shark's mouth. Add a little more glue. I recycled this piece of paper from before, from a different project. That's why there's white on there. Glue that on for his mouth. Okay, now we're gonna add the teeth. Do a line of glue for his upper section of his mouth and for the bottom. We'll stick that on. Here we go. Let's see how many teeth will we do. One, two, three, oops, four. No, oh, they're kind of sticking a little bit. Ah, that will dry. Don't worry. You know what? And shark teeth are not perfect, so we're okay if they come out a little bit wiggly and not straight as we would want them ordinarily. Perfectly fine. He's a shark. I don't go to the dentist. So it's good. They're crooked. Okay. And if a shark loses a tooth, you can just they just grow more. Okay. Um, perfect. Now let's add the eyes. I know my, my googly eyes are two different sizes. I'm okay with that. Make him look more interesting. that eye and that eye. I'm giving him his spaces for him to breathe right there. Nice. We'll add the ocean 
Earlier I cut out a wave. Here it is, I'm just going to add that. This has great swirls on it. You'll see that when I lay it down. Put some glue right there. Add those waves right on top of my shark. And voila, he's done. He looks very happy. Oop, I should probably not, I shouldn't be holding that up. Don't hold your project up until it's done drying because it's starting to drip. All right, well, here's my shark project. I hope yours looks fabulous too. I know it will. Bye, see you next time.